In this video, I'm gonna take a look at some TikTok photography hacks and I'm gonna tell you if I think the video is a scam, it's dumb, it's okay, it's cool, or it's a hack. But let's just get right into it. But before I start, I have to say that I have not watched any of the videos beforehand. I have literally nothing prepared. I just think this would be kind of fun. All right. This is cool. I have actually used this one. This is, that's cool. I've usually used this one for portraiture or some weddings and stuff, but that's cool. That's cool. I like that one. Nice job, James. Here's a camera hack on how to get a perfectly exposed image every time. The first thing you're going to want to do is locate okay. your camera's histogram. Now adjust your camera right. settings until your histogram appears evenly distributed and stretches across the entire graph. Right, so she's not wrong about this. You are able to use your histogram in order to expose your image. But the thing is, in order to do what she just did, you have to have a very even lighting. If you're shooting outside with the sun right behind your subject, the sun and the sky is definitely going to be blown out on your histogram, which means that you might going to underexpose the whole image in order to make sure that the sun is not completely burned out, which most definitely is going to ruin the image because you're going to lose all the details in your subject. Take that with a grain of salt. It's okay. It's a nice baseline, but you have to remember where you're shooting and exactly what you're going to need to have exposed. Okay, we have some photography hacks here. Okay, okay let's take a look. 125th of the second, ISO 320 and f2.5. And it's going to be something with a moving train in the background. Yeah. Let's see it. Let's see it. What? That, that's kind of a scam. I mean, come on. We, we're not even seeing the final image? Come on. I was excited as well. Let's see. 30 sensor. You don't touch. Oh, nope. No. Okay, so sensor cleaning kit. I don't know why he put his finger right on the sensor. Ah, you don't. You don't touch your sensor. Like, come on. The guy in the photo even wears gloves. You don't touch your sensor. Come on. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna blow on it. Blow on the lens. Open the cleaning kit. The sensor cleaner. A few drops, and then. Okay. Yeah. One second, I have them here as well. Ah, okay. You can stay right there. Right. So this is basically what he had. A cleaner, some sense cleaner, and some swaps. And this swap is for my cameras, the APS-C for Sony. You can get these in different sizes so that you can have them exactly for the sensor that you have. The problem in the video was that the guy's swaps were a little bit too small which means that he has to go over it multiple times or it can leave streaks on the sensor, which means that you're going to receive streaks in your photos and videos. No but then again, please don't touch your sensor. I mean, don't. Ah, that just hurts. I mean, it's, it's not a bad tip to clean it, but just keep in mind that you shouldn't be doing this every single day and every single week or month. This is only something you should do if you have spots on your sensor that you cannot get off by blowing on it with a rocket a little bit. Because if you destroy your sensor, it is not going to be cheap for you. So yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's a fine tip, but they just need to get the correct swaps. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a cool tip. That's I can see why she chooses 250. For myself, I would probably go something like 320th of a second. Right. Understanding your camera. Right, so? It is and it isn't true. I mean, for some cameras that is true, that the lowest ISO you can go is 200 to 1200, but on my Sony's I can go down to 100, and I've seen other cameras that can go down to ISO 50. There's not completely false, but yeah. I mean... Yeah. 
it's uh, yeah, it's a good rule of thumb. For the most part, I try to keep my ISO as low as possible. So unless it's so dark that my shutter is slowing down, I'll keep my camera at the native ISO. That's okay. I mean, it's not a bad tip. Okay, we're we in the water. Tripod. Let's see. Oh, he just did it. Yeah, and he's gonna remove himself, right? Yeah, they, it didn't line up. <laughs> Well, he knocked it, so, I mean, it's okay. It's basically the same position. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, that that's cool. Let's always get the shot. This is important. I, okay. I mean, none of the tips here are, like, incredible, but if you're new, you should definitely, like, check her out. Cool. Okay, flat lay hack. put this on top of these little tapes. Now let's take the photo again. Okay, so that's a hack. So basically what you're doing is you're bringing your subject closer to your camera, which means that the rest of the things are just gonna be a little bit more out of focus. Yeah, you know, that's, that's cool, Andre. Good job. Zoom burst. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, so he's taking a photo while zooming. Oh, wow. Wow. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, no, I like that one a lot. Scott, good job, Scott. Ah, okay. Nope, nope. That is not a hack. What the hell are they doing? Did you know that on the Sony A7S III, you can't actually remove these little metal pieces? Well, I really wish someone told me. I honestly just thought that they were screwed on there really hard, but no, they are not supposed to come off. You're welcome. <laughs> That's just bad. That's just the guy who ruined his camera. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's, yeah. Let's move on. Using this. Photography, videography, if you're not using a variable ND filter, how are you getting by? For those that already use these, tell the people in the comments what I'm talking about. For that's true. Don't know, I don't really know if this is a hack, but that's true. You should definitely, if you're shooting video, you should definitely have one of these. I'm using one on my camera right now in order to make sure that I get the correct exposure. Turn it down. You can see it's way darker now. Let's see if we can get it back up to where it was. Something like that, right? It just makes sure that I'm not too dark or too bright. It's cool, but not really a hack. So let's move on. Okay, yeah. This is a scam. Okay, yeah. That is just a scam. You should not wash your cameras like this. That is not gonna work. You're just gonna destroy it. I know your camera says with a proof or with a sealed but that does not mean that you can just shower it with water and soap definitely a scam so move on oh that's cool i'm interested in doing something like that so let me know if you want to see that down in the comments okay we have a set lock bag i'm gonna rip it up Ah, all right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's a cheap way to do it, but like you don't really have any control over it. So I wouldn't say it is a good tip. I would more say like, that's kind of dumb. You can do exactly the same in Lightroom afterwards. So that's just dumb. Uh, yeah, we saw this one. Okay, yeah, so this is a portrait. Compared to the last video with this effect, this is more the type of thing that I would use it for. But I mean, the mountain also look really cool. So yeah, again, this is cool. What a 
create really cool lens flares in your photos, grab some fishing line and cut a few pieces six inches long. Hold these pieces in front of the lens and position your lens towards the sun. It might take a few tries to get it right, but when you do, this is what it's gonna look like. Hmm. I mean, that looks cool. See? Five camera hacks in 50 seconds. Okay. What do we have? A CD. Shooting through a CD. I mean, yeah. No. This, this is just bad. Oh, we got the fishing wire. Oh, okay, so this one is to hold it. That's, that's okay. That's actually a fine tip. Let's see some water on it to make it look like it's cold. That's fine as well. Nothing big, nothing really amazing here. Let's see what's the last one. A slow shutter maybe? Yeah, slow shutter. I mean, I mean the fishing wire to hold the water bottle a little bit on the angle. That's cool. And the water bottle is definitely a good tip. Usually you can also mix in a little bit of a hairspray or something in order to make sure that it sticks a little more. So it's not gone every two minutes or so. Quick and simple photography hacks. I mean, that's cool. That's just cool. Just to play around with shadows, that's cool. So, I mean, lens specials. Lens specials? That's good. Good job. Good hack. Camera gear is rather expensive, so here's how you can save some money. There are loads Come of different on, kinds of filters you can buy for your lenses, whether it's NDs, yeah, UVs, or CPLs. Very They're expensive. all pretty expensive and come in different sizes for different lenses. But instead of buying a different size filter for each lens, buy a filter for your biggest lens and then I get these things called step-up rings, which allow you to adapt bigger filters to smaller lenses. I got you, Luca. That's a hack. Yeah, that is a hack. I mean, so you only need to buy one of each filter. That's that saves you money and it just it works. So next one. Okay. That's cool. I like that one. That's cool. I like that one. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's cool. Next one, light painting. A cool one that's that's a cool hack yeah but as, as you says you will have to train this a little bit because it is kind of tricky in order to make sure that you get the light correctly and also if you're slowing down your shot up too far the cobble is maybe not going to be totally sharp because it's hard for people to be still for longer periods of time so but i mean if you can get photos like this that's great that's cool i think that's it for this time there was a bunch of really cool hacks in here and a few scams, but you know, it's TikTok, so like, what did you expect? <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. If you want me to do another one of these videos, just hit the like button and tell me in the comments. You can click this video over here if you want to know why I consider full-frame cameras to be a scam. I'll see you next time.